Okay class, uh, today's video will look at how to use essence to simulate uh, access of symmetric geometry. So uh, the example we use here is a uh, garden fountain. Uh, you will see that it's a 3D shape, but with access, access symmetric geometry, that means we can always change it to a, from a 3D problem to a 2D because of the symmetry. Uh, to, sim to simplify the problem, we only need to simulate a cross area. So you can cut through a cross area. Uh, you only need the half surface because the symmetry. So the plane surface geometry has been shown here. And the material is a concrete. The problem we want to simulate is there is a water uh, inside the two story trains. Uh, because the existing water hydrostatic pressure, it will cause deformation with concrete and also uh, stress within the concrete. The problem is we find the deformation and stress. Now we go into uh, workbench. So here we'll create static structural project. And then we will open engineer data here to create a uh, concrete. And the concrete, we define some material property of concrete as linear elastic isotropic. And we need to define Young's, Young's modulus here, which is that's 2.9, 10 to 10. And then Poisson ratio is 0 0.15. So after that, we close the engineer data and we go to geometry. Again here, if you cannot, uh, this left, right side box doesn't show up, you can right click on geometry and select property, it will show up. Here we'll make the change is the parameter or the setting we choose for the analysis is a 2D problem. So under the mass geometry options, analysis type will change to 2D because the goal of this problem is we want to transform a 3D problem into a 2D problem. After that, we can double click geometry where we'll launch the, the geometry editor space claim. Let's wait a few seconds. Mm. Okay, here where we are, we are in space claim. What we will do, we select the surface. And we want to use XY surface. So if you move around, you'll see that uh, on this quarter, the XY surface will be selected. Use the plane view. Here we can draw geometry. Before doing that, we go to file, space claim option, where we'll change the unit. The unit we'll use for this geometry, the best unit for this system is meter. Okay, going all the way down to minor grade because the smallest dimension is 0 0.06. As a result, we choose 0 0.01 as minor grade. Okay, well, here we can start drawing. We we'll start from center of the origin and go uh, all the way to one meter, which is a base. We'll see that one meter is uh, very large for the view now, so we can zoom in a little bit. Continue zooming. Okay, now we have one, one meter. Okay, so before doing that, I click escape because what I'm doing is I was control and mouse made a roller to move to the center and to the bottom because this is the bottom. And then we continue to stretch. Now we're still in the uh, line mode, so we can draw a line up is 0.2 meter to the left 0 0.06 meter and go down by 0.12 meter and all the way to the right is 0.6 meter and then go all the way up to 0.5 meter to the right by 0.6 meter go up by 0.2 meter 
again the same thing point 0 06 down by point 12 and all the way to point 6 8 meter and then going down to the origin and you'll see that is 90 degree means everything we draw should be right and the escape escape in the uh, select mode well the, we haven't finished the drawing we need to do some modification on the corner here again we come back to choose create create rounded corner we run the corner here uh, oops the radius is point 0.1 so let's input point 0.1 here and then we choose another one point 0.1 Point one, okay, good. Point one, uh, we need the input. Point one. All right, so the sketching is finished. Um, before leaving this part, we'll see that this what we have draw is all lines. So, but we want to create a surface. It's a two D surface. To do that, you click pull, and the surface will be created. So after pull. Don't pull into 3D, but you just need to click pull and create a surface. That's it. Okay, with that, we can leave this control S. We see that, let's call it design four or five. Let's call it design five. Uh, okay, we'll close it and we'll go to the model, mechanical model, double click model which will launch the mechanical motor. No, take a few seconds. Okay, mechanical motor is launched where we will First, launch the geometry first. You'll see. So I cannot. We cannot uh, use any any button. So it's still working. Curse still flashing. Wait a few seconds. Okay. Now we can work on the model. So. First thing is go to geometry, click geometry, add the details of geometry uh, to change the 2D behavior. Because this is a 2D problem, but the, for 2D behavior, there's quite a few behaviors we can use, like plane stress, plane stress, what we learned before. In this lecture, we learned axis, axis metric. And choose axis metric for this problem. And then go to geometry, system, surface. We choose the material we have created, which is concrete. After concrete, we choose mesh. So here we'll play around with mesh uh, a little bit more because in this lecture we learned different mesh type and mesh size. Uh, where we can set mesh method by right click mesh, insert method. So uh, automatic method uh, tree will be, branch will be created. So click on automatic method. And here geometry, we want to choose the whole body we want to use this method. Okay, apply. Now, if you look at the definition here, and the method we can choose quadrilateral, the mesh shape, triangle, or mixed. So here we start from simple one. We start from a triangle. The element type order will use linear. Well, which is not good for this problem actually, because there's a stress analysis, but we still use it. We start from here and then we'll see that difference after changing into quadratic. Okay, start from uh, linear triangles, which is a constant strength uh, mesh, or we call it T3 mesh. So, and then we can set mesh size. So, click on mesh size, and then here I want to surface, use a surface filter, click on mesh size here you can define mesh size the mesh size we want to use let's start from 0 0.0 let's see 3 see what we get okay let's mesh it see what happened generate mesh 
Okay, the master looks good. Uh, not bad. Let's do see the result and see that how good this mesh is. And then we go to static structural, we insert the boundary condition. The first boundary condition will apply is a fixed support which will apply to the edge. So use the edge filter, click on edge filter, and then can choose edge and then apply. The edge is fixed. The next boundary condition will apply is the axis, the axis of symmetry, which we can use frictionless support. The reason we use a frictionless support is we choose this edge apply because when we apply frictionless support, we still allow the edge to move along vertically, but horizontally it's not allowed to move. This is exactly what uh, axis symmetry will do. Okay, and then we'll insert hydrostatic pressure, put the water into it. So we put the water into the two tree and we'll put the water in the first tree so we'll apply water in this tree edge and arc uh, two edges apply now we define fluid density we use 1000 and then we define gravitational acceleration which we, we can use the component so the direction will become clear we gravity apply along y directions 9.8 okay so the last parameter we want to set is free surface location where is the free surface so there are two ways to assign free surface you can uh, manually input x y or you choose the location by click to change and where i want to change i want to put i will choose a vertex vertex filter and put this point as a surface okay click on it and apply you will see the coordinate has been changed uh, with that and also show you that the pressure um, on the edge on the two edges we choose on the bottom the maximum and to the top becomes zero okay looks good and we'll do the same thing on top tree so what we do is insert again hydrostatic pressure. Uh, we'll choose edge, so top surface and this arc. We have two edge apply, two edges applied. Uh, fluid density one thousand, one thousand fluid density. Acceleration we use a component, and then we use y direction. Let's choose nine point eight. Mm. Click to change to set the free surface. Well, again, before doing that, make sure that the vortex filter has been chosen. Click on this point, apply. Yeah, you can you can tell that X Y has been set, and look at the color change and the pressure change looks good. Okay, so now we go to sol solution. We can insert a deformation. I also want to look check the stress. The stress I want to check is I will check the warm uh, mysis stress. Okay, we'll do a little bit more about uh, the converging to justify the mesh. Uh, how how good is the mesh? Okay, so to do that, I will right click on total deformation. I will use total deformation as to quantify uh, the mesh. Uh, the the accuracy is a mesh. Okay, so to do that, we insert, go to convergence. I change the convergence to one percent. That means when the deformation, as we do the calculation uh, iteratively. So it, when when the deformation change from first calculation to the next ca calculation, you know, the change within one percent, and that means the criteria is made and simulation will stop okay so if not if the uh, convergence criteria is not met we can set a refinement click on solution and solution we can set the refinement loops so the larger the number the more aggressive the uh, mesh refinement and the refinement depth we can change back to one and we'll do the calculation here so after that we can start the calculation by click solve. 
you'll see that start build mathematical model and then solve the mathematical model okay and and then we'll based on the uh, convergence criteria if it doesn't work and re recreate mesh and build mathematical again and so keep doing that iteratively until the convergence criteria one percent change within one percent one percent change it will stop so after calculation you will see that the original mesh will be significantly refined because you can we can tell uh, there's quite a few iterative process because keep keep the calculation establish a model calculate the model and do this again so still building the math still building the mathematical model the reason that the it takes so many iterative because we are using a linear triangle which is not good we know it but we want to do this as beginning to let you see that how bad this is if we can ch change it to uh, quadratic how fast it will uh, accelerate or speed up the calculation okay now the simulation is finished and you will see that compared to the original mesh we have uh, we created and this mesh is much uh, significantly refined because this is linear uh, mesh doesn't work very well for uh, convergence okay this is deformation and this is a equivalent stress this is a, a deformation and you can check the convergence you'll see that there's quite a few as the word beginning see that is a 4.8 something is quite far away from the convergent value so gradually it will reach a plateau within one person and the calculation will stop okay now before leaving that we will look at that if we change the mesh see if we change the mesh for tri for all triangle method if we change the mesh to let's see quadratic and we generate mesh again and then we calculate the, we'll calculate this again to so solve the problem and well we can tell the we'll see the difference between the two meshing method one is a linear the other one is a quadratic again do the same process and you will see there's a uh, there's at least a one refinement the second time to build the mathematical model based on the information we have here and then solve the model okay I think the calculation has been conducted twice and the calculation finished you'll see that the mesh if you use a quadratic mesh it will not significantly refine the mesh the mesh will refine in this region uh, I believe this region should be a stress concentration region yeah you can tell that there's a stress concentration that means that this is a region that is very hard for convergence and refine this region and then do the calculation again and the problem solved but let's let's look at the problem let's look at the total deformation is total deformation is still on the same level but you can see the stress accuracy is improved you can look at the convergence and the only required one step and so the first calculation is already very good 5.2 something and then there's one more uh, step one more calculation and the result is obtained okay look at the deformation and then look at this stress again so now that's all we have for today I uh, hope you can learn something from this especially for about the mesh type